Meanwhile, drones are rapidly growing in popularity. They've got the imagination of one and all. From communication to navigation to espionage and arms supply to even hunting and killing, drones have become a defining feature of modern warfare. They have transformed not just the capabilities of war, but the very agent of war. And like any other agent, drones too can end up in the hands of rogue elements. Here's a report on the good, the bad and the ugly of drone technology. The age of killer robots is upon us. This may sound like something straight out of a science fiction horror film. But the advances in technology have brought us closer to this depressing truth. Closer to autonomous weapons of war. Take drones for example. These unmanned aerial vehicles are transforming warfare as we know it. The US used them for combat missions in Afghanistan. Israel uses them for its military operations in Gaza. In terms of surveillance, drones can be operated 24-7. They can relay real-time images of battles. Some serve as a communications relay tool for troops. Some others as a tool for intercepting the enemy's messages. But the most beneficial are hunter-killer drones. What you see is Reaper, the American Army's showpiece hunter-killer drone. Measuring 11 meters in length and 4 meters height, the Reaper has a 20-meter wingspan. It is capable of carrying four missiles or two laser-guided bombs and has a range of 1,850 kilometers. But the Reaper is not fully autonomous. It's operated by two crew members who are often based in the US. This style of remotely controlled combat has been adopted the world over. This is the IAI Heron, the most effective drone in Israel's arsenal. It has demonstrated 52 hours of continuous flight performing a variety of strategic missions, including intel gathering, surveillance and target acquisition. Today, Israel is the world's largest exporter of drones. Exporting 4.6 billion worth of unmanned aerial vehicles in the last eight years. Who are the biggest importers? India and the United Kingdom. Accounting for 22.5% and 33.9% of drone imports respectively but they rarely use drones for military strikes. Look at this graph. More than 35 countries have drones. More than 25 have developed their own. But only 12 of them have conducted actual drone strikes. Which countries are these? The United States, Israel, the United Kingdom, Pakistan, Nigeria, Iran, Azerbaijan, Iraq, Turkey, UAE, Russia, and France. Drones are also used by non-state actors. Like the ISIS, they've trafficked drones from at least 16 companies across seven countries and used them for surveillance and attacks. Since 2017, Yemen's Houthi rebels have been launching drone attacks on Saudi Arabia. In 2018, the Boko Haram acquired drones and began using them for surveillance purposes. And since 2019, the Palestinian Islamic Jihad terror group has been dropping incendiary bombs on Israeli defense forces using drones. Drones have undeniably changed the character of warfare. Like any other weapon, drone technology is proving to be a double-edged sword. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.